My friends, as you can see, I'm running Asphalt 9 on my old laptop in Tiny 11 22H2 version. Hello everybody, you are on Andre Mihalovi channel. Today, I'm going to do quick gaming test in Tiny 11 22H2 version. I'm making this video because many of you wrote me in the comment, is Tiny 11 good for gaming? And today, I will try to find out. The thing is, I already read some of your comments and I noticed that some people think the Tiny 11 is slow operating system and you can't play game on this OS. Sometimes people can't run games on Windows and I am a little confused because many people wrote in the comment why I cannot run this game or Tiny 11 have problem and I can't install this game. Problem is, Maybe you don't install a lot of important patches that you need. But to fix this problem, you need to manually install the driver or the patch, for the example, Microsoft C or Direct 10 or 9. It all depends on the game which you want to play. If you have some question about Tiny11, please write me in the comment and I will try to give answer on all of your questions. So before this video start, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. So let's get started. My friends, we are in Tiny11 22H2 version. So right now I'm going to show you how you can easily install game from the Microsoft Store. For this you need to find Microsoft Store, you need to click on it, wait a few minutes. Also, I want to mention that I'm using local account. It's not necessarily important to use Microsoft account to install apps and games. Only for some games and application, you need to enter Microsoft account. If you want to install some app or game, you can click here and type which game or application you want to find. Or you can click here on apps or gaming and you can find the game which you want to install. Previously, I installed Asphalt 9, but I will show you how to install application from the Microsoft Store. You just need to select the game which you want to install, click on it, and after that, you just need to click here on Get. So it will automatically download and install game on your laptop or computer. But I already installed Asphalt 9, so I will cancel this process and we will run Asphalt 9. I'm making this video just to show you that you can install and play games from the Microsoft Store without any problem and it doesn't require you to install some special packages, Microsoft C++ and Direct. It is very easy, you just need to install and run the game. For the example, Asphalt 9. I will go to the library. In the library, you may see apps and games. I will click on games and here you may see Asphalt 9. I will click on it. My friends, as you can see, I'm running Asphalt 9 on my old laptop in Tiny 11 22H2 version without any problem. Playing on gamepad, games here, and as you can see, everything works quite correctly. Also, I want to mention that I'm using screen recording program, so don't mind if you see some freezes or lags. Actually, I have quite old laptop, so don't mind. So you can use this tip to install application and games from the Microsoft Store. It doesn't require you to install some special patches, directs and Microsoft C. So definitely it is very easy and convenient to install apps and games from the Microsoft Store. Okay, let's move forward and install Steam. For this, I will use Google Chrome browser. If you don't know how to install browser in Tiny11, I recommend to watch my video how to set up Tiny11 after installation. And then we will type next. Steam, press enter, go to the official website. In this window, we will click on install Steam. Scroll down a little bit and here you may see install Steam. Wait a few minutes and voila, now we can install Steam in Tiny11. Install. As you can see, Steam gets the latest updates. My friends, if you want to run games using Steam or Epic Games, I think you will not have any problem. But if you download it and install some pirate game from the internet, please don't be surprised if you see some messages like error, blue screen, etc. 
because the same issue you may see in Windows 11. As you can see, Steam successfully installed on my old laptop. Let's open Google Chrome browser and type Dota 2 Steam. Press enter. Click on it. So friends, I'm showing you that probably you can install game on Tiny11 and run them without any problem because many users wrote me in the comment that they can't run game in Tiny11. Let's click here, free to play. Yep. Let's install it. Okay, I'll allocate another space, create a new Steam. Okay, next. So friends, now we just need to wait until the game will be installed on our laptop and then I will show you that you can play games on Tiny11 without any problem. And voila, I finally installed Dota 2 on my laptop. So let's try to run this game. Click on play. Please pay attention right now. As you can see, Steam automatically installing important components that the game needs. And that's totally convenient. My friends, we are in the menu and now I can run Dota. As you can see, everything works correctly. I don't have any issues, errors, etc. Also, I want to mention this video not about the settings or something like that. This video about stably gaming on Tiny11. Because many of you wrote me in the comment that Tiny11 simply can't run games. And right now I'm showing you that you can play games on Tiny11. One more time, don't mention if you see that the game running not so fast because I have a really old laptop plus I'm using screen recording program. But the thing is, I run Dota 2 without any problem. So you can just install Steam and run game in Tiny11 without any problem. It all depends on you. In short, my conclusions. You can run game on Tiny11 without any problem. You can run them like on Windows 11, but you need to install right components before you want to run the game. Everything is very simple. Also, you can install some games from the Microsoft Store and literally you don't need to install any components. Before I turn off the laptop, I will show you the specs of my system. So you may see that I really have unsupported computer, Intel Core i3 processor of third generation, 8 gigabytes of RAM. So definitely my laptop is unsupported, but I run Tiny11 without any problem. I hope this video was useful for you. I think it will be more than enough for today. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know more about Tiny11, I recommend to click here on this video.